Heike, heike, heike. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying a lovely day. In this fine tutorial, I'll be showing you on how to put water dough into OBS using spout capture. Because how else are you going to be able to VTube and do all of your beautiful streaming and content if you don't know how to put the model in the freaking OBS in the first place? Anyways, so in order for us to do that, the first thing we'll need to do is we need to download an OBS plugin. So in the description below, you will see this GitHub. It is created by this um, by the user Offworld Live. They made the OBS Bout 2 plugin. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the EXE right here um, and then once you uh, have that, you'll be prompted to, you know, save the file. You uh, click the exe and you download just as normal. Since I have OBS open, I can't be able to go through the installation process um, fully. But, you know, for your case, obviously go through that uh, installation process. It's very straightforward. You know, just click next, next, approve let, or accept anything and just let it install make sure obs is turned off while the um the spout capture for obs is getting inst installed so once you have it properly installed you're going to then open up your wadudo no matter what scene you are in you're going to then go to the wadudo editor right here you're going to then go all the way over here to the menu and then click right here then go over here to the settings button right here. Good job. And then uh, over here in general, you're going to then scroll down just a little bit and there should be the spout output. Make sure to click on yes for this one. And then once you have that, please make note of the spout source, which is called Wadudo. And noting also there is no numbers or anything like that is just Wadudo. So you can be able to exit. And again, this thing will apply to all scenes that you open up. So keep that in mind. So once you have that, click on the X button right here. And then you're going to open up your OBS. Now, here in OBS, you're going to, you know, have all your stuff, you know. And what you're going to do is that over here, which you'll see the little Tesla cursor right here. So ignore the little window up here um but over here you're going to click on the plus button and you should be able to see something called spout to capture if for any reason you are unable to see this make sure you update your obs to the newest version i also uh recommend you can also try it reinstalling or maybe double checking the file path of where obs is located um especially maybe if you're using the portable version of obs maybe um, you have to probably do a manual installation with this. So if you're using portable OBS, you might want to definitely use the zip file instead of the exe. But even then though, if you have any other issues, uh, such as bugs, you can report it in the GitHub with the issues over here, as this is the person that created it. So you can report bugs, um, if you see anything that's weird. But besides that though, you click on the plus button. And then you're going to, again, click on Spout to Capture. Then you're going to go ahead and add your Spout Capture. And then, um, which you won't be able to see here. So let me go ahead and move that. So that way you can be able to uh, see the little setting here. So what you're going to then do is that you're going to have this window appear. Uh, make sure, and I definitely recommend, set the spout sender to the very specific one that you have. That is Wadudo. Make sure that the composite mode is set to either pre-multiplied alpha or the converted one. I usually tend to use this one here, um, but depending on, you know, depending on your Wadudo setup, sometimes if you have like bloom, for example, like the glowing, Sometimes some people may try this one to see if it's better or worse. So definitely try these two and, you know, see how it is. But I usually use pre-multiplied alpha and it works just fine. And then what you're going to then do, uh, if you need to adjust this, you can, but I, you don't have to touch that. But you just click on OK and that's pretty much it. And in OBS, 
um, you can either like you can either do the falling where you can full screen the the source here and then have your Wadudo camera move it around so that way you don't have that cutoff going on like what's happening I don't know if you're able to see it properly but there's like a cutoff on my right part of the wing um, so usually I tend to have mine like full screen so I click on the source right click it and then I do transform and then I do fit to screen and then I let Wadudo camera you know do it so that way you know I don't cut out like that um, but if it makes it easier for you, then, you know, you can scale the source however you like and just put it there and bada bing bada boom, you're able to have your, you're able to have your model in OBS. So, there you go. And that's pretty much it. Um, there's also a little extra fact I do also want to share with you guys. Something cool you can do in Wadudo is that Wadudo has the ability to have multiple spout captures. So you, let's say, for example, you want to have it where, uh, for my specific case, um, I, of course, have my main camera. This is obviously like my main spout capture. But let's say while I'm streaming, I want to make sure I have a a separate spout capture dedicated to my character being at a specific angle like front like this so it's like a like a viewer because i have two monitors so i wanted to have a second spout capture so that way um you know with the obs um like when i right click and i do the window projector thing i don't know if i'm making any sense um but i'm just again giving an example but i want to have like a different you know, another spout capture for whatever reason, whether it's like for recording purposes or um, if you're, I don't know, doing something. I, I don't know what you're going to use it for, to be honest. It's really up to you. But if you need to, depending on how you want yourself to be, what you can do is go to your camera. So, you know, you can click on add asset here, um, cinematography, add camera if you want, or just use your existing one. And then when you scroll down over here, so you scroll down a bit, a bit more, there is an output. You can be able to have dedicated outputs for your spout capture. So I can say yes, and then you can see here that it has a different name for the spout capture. So if you need, for whatever reason, whether you're doing whatever I'm doing, which is making a sort of model viewer for my eyes, but making sure that my viewers see the correct angle of where my character is at. Uh, if you're doing whatever I'm doing, or if you're doing this for, I don't know, whatever reason, then yeah, you can use this. But if not, uh, if, you, if you don't need it, you don't have to. But, you know, I just wanted to point out that the thing. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Um, I do hope that you learned the setup. And again, if you have issues, please join the Wadudo Discord server. But for the most part, it's a very straightforward process. Nothing complicated, unless your PC explodes or something. But either way, I hope you have a lovely day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone! I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye!